guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellek and what a beautiful day. When I got up this morning, I saw such a beautiful clear day. I said, let's do something that has never been done before and captured on high speed camera. So what we got for you today, we've got something totally different. We've got a prismatic dual or pistol. As you can see, it's a twice shooter. One trigger pull, shoots twice. Got some ballistic gelatin. Hmm, got a high speed camera. That's kind of interesting. So what we're gonna do for you is to shoot a, a gelatin block two shots at one time with different speed ammunition to see what kind of the, what kind of effect we're going to actually have on the block of gelatin. So this prismatic dual is kind of a trick pistol. You'll see it in the James Bond movie coming out here just recently. Uh, there's, not too, there's not many of them in the country, but what's exciting for me is we get to shoot a test medium with different projectiles at different speed to actually see what happens. So it ought to be a lot of fun. So what we're going to do for ammunition, I've got a Hornady 220 grain plus P flex tip round in the left barrel and on the right side we got the standard 230 grain uh, ball round so there's about a hundred and something feet a second difference so they're going to be intersecting the target at different different times and that's what's going to be inter interesting to see how that block reacts and what actually happens when you do such a thing so beautiful day we've got ammo we've got test medium we've got camera let's make it happen all right Here we go. Here we go. Going hot, eyes and ears. Ho! Wow. We're clear. Let's go down and take a look at it. All right, we're looking at the first block. And what we did when we shot the first block, the way we loaded that double barrel pistol was the Hornady 220 grain flex tip was on the left and the ball round was on the right. So two different velocities. One's about 100 feet a second faster, so the Hornady round is going to get there a little bit quicker. And looking at the entrance, you can see the distortion to the uh, gelatin is pretty apparent right off the get-go. And the ball round, if you look really close, it looks like it didn't penetrate, but maybe three quarters of an inch of the gelatin, and it goes right into the same path. So if, when you look at the high-speed footage, what you're going to see is when that hollow point hit, it expanded the uh, gelatin to the point to where the ball round was just basically flying through the air. And if you look at it from the side, you can see the track with the most disturbance all the way through is that 220 grain Hornady. And this secondary path that you see a little bit higher is the 230 ball round. So apparently the cavitation of that first round was so great that by, <laughs> by the time that uh, slower projectile got there, the only thing it had to hit was half the block. But you also look... When you look at the footage, you'll see that that hollow point is slowing down dramatically because it got there sooner, is hitting all this gelatin, and that ball round's coming through there, and you can see right at the end, when they came out, it's almost the exact entrance, I mean exit hole. Actually, you can see that 230 grain bullet pushed that hollow point out of the block, and they both came out at exactly the same point. So that's kind of a trick. So a lot of things going on. We're running at about 20, about 8,300 frames. We went ahead and shot a second block of gelatin and we changed the camera speed to 14,000. The original one was about 8,200 8, per second. This is 14,000. We also changed the position of the ammunition so you could see it a little bit better. So if you look at the front of the block, the two, uh, what I did on that double barrel pistol, I put the Hornady rod on the right barrel, the ball on the left. So I, when I went to shoot the block, shot the gun sideways so the Hornady rod would enter on top. So you can see again the entrance hole is a lot more than the 230 ball, but it's, it's kind of unique in the fact that when that ball round got there, there was not much gelatin to hit, so this was pretty well expanded. And you can see where it tracks through here that the 230 Hornady went pretty much in a straight line. And then again, when the 230 uh, ball got there, there wasn't much to hit. This was all cavitated open, so it basically hit half the block. But what was really trick, guys, when it was <laughs> that Hornady round after going through that 16 inches of gelatin had expended most all of its energy and it was hanging right at the end of the block you can see the block extorted out to the end and you see the bullet sitting in it and when that 230 came through there at speed it actually flexed that gelatin enough to where it spit that bullet out and we were able to find it on the ground there guys so that's that 220 grain Hornady flex tip it opened up I mean exactly exactly perfect and another thing you can see on the footage is that the little polymer tip rode the whole trip of the of the bullet 
through the gelatin. So you got the bullet, the tip, coming out right at the end, that 230 grain bullet pushed it out, it fell right on the ground. So the, the bullet performance was exactly what they said it was, but it was kind of interesting to see different speed bullets intercepting a uh, block of gelatin fired from the same gun at one time.